a reading of the homily titled Before Lent by St. John Maximovich of Shanghai and San Francisco. The doors of repentance are opening. Great Lent is beginning. Every year it is repeated, and each time it brings us great benefit, if we spend it as we should. Great Lent is a preparation for the life to come, and more immediately, a preparation for the bright resurrection. Just as a stairway is built into a tall building in order to enable one, by climbing the steps, to easily get to the top, so too, the various days in the year serve as steps for our spiritual ascent. This is especially true of the days of Great Lent and Holy Pascha. By means of Great Lent, we cleanse ourselves of the filth of sin, and at Holy Pascha we experience the blessedness of Christ's kingdom that is to come. In climbing a high mountain, one tries to eliminate all unnecessary weight. The less a person carries, the easier it is for him to climb and the higher he is able to climb. So too, in order to ascend spiritually, it is necessary first of all to free oneself from the weight of sin. It is taken from us through repentance, provided that we banish from ourselves all enmity and forgive each person who we consider to be at fault before us. Once cleansed and forgiven by God, we then greet the bright resurrection of Christ. And what a priceless gift of God we receive then, at the culmination of our Lenten struggle. We hear about this already in the first hymns of the daily Lentens to Kara. Our food shall be the Lamb of God, on the holy and radiant night of His awakening, the victim offered for us, given in communion to the disciples on the evening of the mystery. Apostica Stichiron, Sunday of the Last Judgment. Communing of the body and blood of the risen Christ unto life eternal, this is the aim of the holy forty days. Not just on Pascha does one commune. On the contrary, on Pascha those people should commune who fasted, confessed, and received the holy mysteries during Great Lent. Just before Pascha itself there is little opportunity for a proper and thorough confession. Time and the priests are occupied with the Passion services. One must prepare ahead of time. Each time one receives the mysteries of Christ, one is united with Christ himself. Each time it is a soul-saving act. Why, then, is such significance attached to receiving Holy Communion on the night of Holy Pascha, and why are we all called to do so? Then, especially, we are given to experience the kingdom of Christ. Then, especially, we are illumined with the eternal light and strengthened for the spiritual ascent. This is an irreplaceable gift of Christ, an incomparable good. Let no one deprive himself of this joy, and instead of receiving Holy Communion on Pascha night, hasten to eat meat and other foods. Communing of the Holy Mysteries on that night prepares us for the banquet in the eternal kingdom of God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, of the Holy Hierarch and Wonder Worker, John. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen.